Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another adventure. So I'm currently at about 10,000 feet. I have zero water. And the whole plan is to filter my water along the way to stay hydrated. And I'm hiking to lakes that are at about 11,000 feet up. And uh, rumor has it, they are full of wild rainbow and brook trout. So brought my flies with me. I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish just like I did a few weeks back. So super excited about this trip and uh, let's go. I'll use this as an opportunity to get some water. It's always good to filter your water. Even though it looks really, really clean, it's clear, it doesn't look like anything's in it, you always want to filter your water. I use one of these Sawyers, just screws onto the top of the bottle, and it works very well. So the way this works, for those who haven't seen it, is you just unscrew the top here, and there's a little ring you want to be sure you don't lose. This little ring right here. Kind of pull it out with your finger. And what I do is I just put it inside the actual end of the piece. And then, simply scoop up your water. Be sure not to drop the ring into the water. And in my mind, streams are always best. I like stream water over lake water where it's kind of been sitting for a while. Oh, this feels pretty warm. Oh, look at that. Fresh mountain spring water, or stream water, rather. And then you just screw your Sawyer back on and you're in business. This is one of the gems along the way. Wow. So gorgeous back here. I'm gonna keep on going up into the mountains uh, because I think it'll be a little more quiet, uh, secluded, and uh, I think the fishing will be really good too. Because I don't think it's a very trafficked or a highly trafficked lake, so I'm gonna keep going up. Gosh, the trail to this lake is so rad too. Like how it skirts this lake. Little tiny trail alongside this beautiful deep lake. Oh, I love it. Gosh, couldn't have picked a better day for this. And I found the trail pretty easily. I was surprised. But this lake should be in the mountains up there.
So I think the trail goes up through there. So I need to find a place to cross. This looks pretty good. Let's see here. Oh yeah. This looks manageable. Hopefully these are steady. Oh. Not bad. Coming into my little alpine lake. I don't think there's anybody here, which is a very good thing. I think it's kind of one of these lakes that people really don't hike up to. I don't think many know about it. Oh, it's tiny. Very tiny, but from the map, it says there are brooks and rainbows. Oh, it's gorgeous though. Wow. Wow. Man, is that not, not scenic or what? Wow. Speechless. <sighs> All right, guys, I got their attention. So again, I'm using this Panther Martin. And I just saw two big boys follow this in. So let's go back out. Same spot. Wow. Perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. Exactly where I want to be. Come on, guys. Come on back to this one. The good thing is they're attracted to it. Oh, got one. Got one. <laughs> Told you, guys. Told you. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? What do we have? Oh, oh, he fell right off. Oh, I can bag him. I can bag him. Got him. A little brook, little brookie. I'm gonna let him go. He's really tiny. Nope, nope, back in the water, back in the water. There you go, there you go, there he goes. Huge cast. Anybody recognize this, uh, this beautiful pass behind me? This popular mountain pass? Been over that several times in my videos. Most recently was when I hiked around this way and came over that that uh, high point. That was a lot of fun. That was last summer.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, happy hiking. Thank you.